Welcome back. Emma Kengige now joins us. He's a legal practitioner still looking at the... Um so many developments looking at uh, the main gate also looking at the efcc and the dss face off but let's begin with getting your thoughts about this main gate we did see how the uh, house of representatives committee set up to uh, probe this very unfortunate scenario what it has been able to re reveal but one would think that uh, perhaps the agf himself uh, malami has a lot to answer do you think so well, um, there's no way you can uh, uh, detach him from the ongoing saga because uh, the letter that was used as the basis for the recall was attributed to him. So AGF is a, is a, is a player in the, in the MENA saga. He, he did allude to the fact that uh, in this very saga, there are government officials, both serving and retired that have formed a syndicate in looting the monies of this pension scheme. What then should be done at this point? Because if it is out in the open, why hide it? Why is the EFCC not moving in to probe this as well? Yes, I think uh, the, that uh, revelation from the Attorney General uh, is a matter of great concern. What, in my own view, should be done, having regard to the revelations from the Senate committee and from the House of Reps committee is for the federal government, I mean the presidency, to set up a high-powered judicial panel of inquiry headed by either a serving or retired justice of Supreme Court to look into the entire Mayna Sega as involves both the office of the Attorney General, Head of Service, Minister of Interior, uh, Civil Service Commission, and all agencies. That is the only way with uh, terms of reference that will go deeper because James, uh, Paul, uh, Mr. Parker, the chairman of the Senate Committee that is handling the, the Menasaga, said that that the whole thing is very complex. So it may even be beyond their capacity to go deeper. A lot of billions are involved of pensioners in this country. Mayna goes around with billions of naira and dollars in his pockets. And if you meet him, it is for you to name your prize. So I think the government should now But come is that out. the case in this one? That, that may be the case. For him to be coming in when he's a person on the wanted list, he will pass through immigration, he will, he's being surrounded or being uh, guided by policemen. So it goes to show so the rot in the system. If, if, the, uh, if the AGF should claim ignorance about that letter that was sent out, uh, reinstating him, and um, the HOS says that she got the letter, but she was waiting for further directives, but at some point, He's just uh, been seen for uh, in, in yes for clarifications, and then at some point he was just seen in the office carrying out his normal duties. One would think that perhaps uh, the minister for interior should be saying something very seriously about this. Why do you think he's been quiet? No, that's why I said, from what has has ha happened so far, a judicial panel of inquiry should unravel everything, not ad hoc that uh, uh, the Senate and House of they may not have the time to do a thorough investigation. But they should do their own because they will get certain information. But the executive arm, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, should set up a judicial panel of inquiry to unravel the entire thing about Mena Saga. A judicial, really? Because uh, we did set up a, 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 a panel of inquiry, a presidential panel of inquiry. That is Mena Saga. At, no, no, to look at the AGF, uh, I'm sorry, the SGF, the former SGF. Yes. And uh, up till today, we still haven't heard about that report. No judicial. We, it, we, should we go that one? No that judicial. Way? The first one was so headed by the, it was headed by the vice president. Okay, we're going to take a very short break now, and then when we come back, we'll still uh, dwell on this matter. We'll be right back. Stay with us.